Rizang. Rizang. We're here today to support the families as we always do. This previous Lord Chief Justice gave a, a number of uh, promises to the families, especially that within his time as Lord Chief Justice, that all of the inquests that were there would be seen to. He's now not the Lord Chief Justice, but he has taken on the job not, of, of not only supporting uh, this uh, shameful legislation which the British brought in, uh, which puts all of his promises in the bin, uh, but he's actually leading it. Uh, so people are calling here, and I agree with him that he should resign from that. He should not give it any credibility. Uh, we're also pushing the uh, Irish government to take an interstate case against the British and the European Court to make sure that this doesn't go anywhere. There are now, as I understand, 20 individual cases um, in the court which are trying to uh, make the British withdraw this legislation as it's illegal, it breaks international uh, standards and international, uh, international law. Every single party on the island of Ireland is against this. Um, the Irish government is against it. There's international bodies, human rights bodies that are against it. And clearly the families, and that goes, just to make it clear, that goes right across the community of uh, victims and survivors, right across the board, are all against this, uh, uh, this legacy bill. And it should, be, uh, it should be withdrawn. It's the only answer to deal with this, go back to where we were, which is that we did have an agreement in the Stormont House Agreement, and the way to bring this forward, where truth and justice would have been available uh, to all the families. But the families have said themselves, and have said as, a, as an organisation, as a grouping, that they will not give up. And it's now until the third generation of families fighting uh, to get justice, and we will stand by them the whole way until they get that justice.